So if you don't know, there's a once in a lifetime event happening right now in September, 2022. This is the closest that the planet Jupiter has been to earth since 1951. So 70 years. And if you go out in the night sky, it is the brightest object in our sky besides the moon. And it is magnificent. So it rises on the east and it stays up the entire night and it sets in the morning in the west. So why is Jupiter so bright right now? Well, it's in its opposition phase. What is an opposition? Well, it's just when Earth is passing between the sun and Jupiter. This is the same thing as observing a full moon. This is a full Jupiter, which makes it really easy to view Jupiter and its moons. Last night, without even thinking about it, I went outside and I saw Jupiter and I was just like struck by how bright and how magnificent it looked. I went inside and I got some binoculars. I was able to focus them on Jupiter and for the first time in my life, with just a pair of binoculars, not only did I see Jupiter, but I saw its moons and that milkiness that's around Jupiter. It was incredible. So what you can see right now, just with a pair of binoculars, is the moons of Jupiter with your very own eyes. Another reason Jupiter is so bright right now is it's reaching its perihelion. Now perihelion is the moment when a planet gets as close as it's going to get to the sun. It reaches its perihelion in January of 2023. The next time Jupiter will be this close to Earth is in 2129, that's in 107 years. And that's so weird to say. Maybe if something happens with, you know, technology and living forever, who knows? The next time this will happen is in 107 years, so don't miss your opportunity to see this now and go outside and look at Jupiter and its moons. Why is it so important to go out there and look at those moons with your very own eyes? Well, let me tell you. On January 7th of 1610, the Italian astronomer Galileo looked into his telescope and for the first time ever, he noticed three little stars next to Jupiter. Those three little stars he observed over the following week and by the 13th he understood that those were not stars but those were orbiting around the planet Jupiter not this geocentric model where everything revolved around the earth this was the beginning of the end for the geocentric model and it's just so cool to think about that in history it really wasn't that long ago when you think about the span of what time is but when you can go out with some binoculars or a little telescope, whatever you have, and when you see those moons lined up, and you see Io, Europa, and Callisto, and you see them with your own eyes, I mean, I mean, just put that in perspective. Of all the history, of all the people in the entire world, before modern times, they had no ability to look into anything and see the moons of Jupiter with their own eyes. And you can get outside, get into the sky, look out and marvel at how incredible our universe is. I hope you enjoyed this video and remember I like you just the way you are and I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye.